you were you were working on uh, we're going to kind of go on to spring watch a little bit so you were working on spring watch from from its inception from the off i think 2005 is that right that's right well it was a funny program it started actually in 2003 when we did a week-long thing called wild in your garden in bristol and that's the sort of proto spring watch and then yes it turned into spring watch i was lucky enough to be the first series producer but it was one of those things that it was never invented it didn't it wasn't created it sort of evolved right because that was going to be my question was where where did this idea because nothing like that had been done before really where you're beaming live images of british wildlife into people's living rooms well funnily enough it had been done in the 90s and and and, and you probably won't remember this and it wasn't as big as spring watch but there was a thing called bird in the nest Okay. And Bill Oddie, Simon King, and Peter Holden from the RSPB, the lovely man from the YOC. Right. And they did a very similar thing, except even though it was only 10 years before Springwatch, they had to literally cut a hole in the back of a nest box and have a bloke with a camera the size <laughs> of, you know, a proper video really? wow. camera, like that they used for sporting events, poked <laughs> in the back of a blue tits box. And 10 years later, when we did Wild in Your Garden, we didn't need that. We could use little security cameras and then they evolved. So the technology certainly helped. There was a, there was a feeling against wanting to do live programmes because live programmes can't be controlled and BBC controllers is the word is used and commissioners, they want to be in charge. Yeah. And you can't be in charge of life and you certainly can't be in charge of a live programme when Bill Otty's presenting it. <laughs> Bill, as I always say, you know, the only true genius I ever worked with, with no no criticism of any of the others but he really is and bill was so amazingly unpredictable you know he is a jazz musician by inclination and he presents like a jazz musician you know mm. david Apple is a concert pianist and bill's <laughs> bill's improvising yeah he's a force of nature yeah and that was the joy of working with it and you know and him and, and kate and uh, simon um yeah, it was an amazing experience. I mean, all these experiences. It's funny, you mentioned about I've travelled a lot, and I have, and I've seen some great sightings. But in the end, it's the people you work with. And I am genuinely mean this, you know, people, not just obviously people like Bill and, and the presenters, but also all the teams I work with are fantastic people on Spring Watch, on things like Big Cat Diary. Um, because you all care about it so much, and because you're all focused on doing it right, particularly on a live programme, the camaraderie was incredible and it's one of the the most joyous things actually of my career and I, as a solitary writer I love that but I also loved that sort of being with a group doing something. Well I suppose people don't maybe don't realise how big the operation is I mean I, mem I remember bumping into you at Minsmere a few years ago uh, on, on the Spring Watch sure. and, and it is like a it's like a circus is probably I don't know if that's the right word to describe it but there's so <laughs> many people there's so many people in trailers and there's tents there full of people and tents there. I mean, um, I, I don't know how many people, there, probably over a hundred, you know, crew, yeah. staff, whatever. It, it's it a big was operation. About 100, 120, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's it big... was incredible. I mean, and also, you know, in Big Cat Diary, we had a hundred people in the Masai Mara in the middle of <laughs> tents in the middle of nowhere, you know, it, and, and running a team like that, you're not really running it. You're, well, you're sort of, it's like herding cats, you know, you're working with, some of the most talented people in the world at their job, the greatest camera people, the greatest editors, presenters, you know, wildlife spotters, you know, naturalists, whatever. And your job is basically to keep them all singing from the same hymn sheet. Um, <laughs> but it's, yeah, it was, you know, an utter joy. I mean, it was, of course, there were terrible, painful, stressful moments. I've just managed to forget all of those. <laughs> big stress wow. this year is how they're going to do spring watch and i can't tell you but they are working on it and i'm sure it will happen yeah no i you know i mean it'd be great to see i've been, I've been watching country file recently and they've obviously been kind of all the presenters have been doing it from home and doing little little bobs there so um yeah it's been interesting how these sort of programs work but you know we'll see we'll see how this year's spring watch goes